be patient with me. Okay? Uh, my name is Yasuharu Nakano uh, from Japan. Now, I always use NoBeans as my handle. Uh, I've ever developed some products. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about GroovySurf and Grails in Prox plugin in order, in order to improve your productivity for developing uh, Groovy script and Grails application. Uh, by the way, a uh, major risk in this session is my English skill. So, uh, but, uh, if you have any question, speak slowly and play in English, please. Yeah, my, my oral communication skill <laughs> in English is really awful. So, but, but even if you do so, I may not understand you. Sorry, in advance. Okay, my excuse is over. Let's begin. The first topic is group itself. Uh, let us suppose the situation of developing a Groovy script. A uh, common strategy is trial and error. Uh, writing and running, and writing and running. Yeah, it's important to repeat writing a code and running it in order to make sure that it works well and is along your intention. The script is gradually approaching the goal. But such the simplest code, printing in Hello Groovy, takes all, almost one second. Now, I bought this MacBook Pro Retina last year. Uh, this has quad-core CPU and SSID, so I think it's not bad spec, but it takes almost one second. As a result, uh, end time trial error uh, takes a second, at least. Yeah, many a little makes a mickle. Uh, in addition, uh, the waiting time makes me forget the next action. Why is the startup time of Groovy so slow? Uh, it's a problem of not only Groovy, but uh, all JVM languages. Because it's mainly caused by loading many, many classes from disk. According to Wikipedia, yeah, is it a doom of JVM languages? Uh, any solutions? Yes, you know, Groovy console, which is bundled with Groovy by default, is one of the solutions. Okay, do you know it? You know, Groovy console? Oh, good, good, okay. Uh, just to make sure, let me show you a simple demo of Groovy console, okay? Groovy console, okay. Yeah, this is a Groovy console. And clean, clean, okay, clean to land. Hello, Groovy console. And run it. It's very fast. It's very fast. Yeah, Groovy console is very handy for trying Java or Groovy APIs. But the feature of the editor are not so rich. I want to use my favorite ID or editor, HJJ or Vim, if possible, to write a code having more than a few lines. So, is there any solutions? Now, I introduce you Groovy Surf. It makes the startup time of Groovy much faster by pre invoking JVM process as a server. Uh, let me show you a simple demo of Groovy Surf. Okay, first, let me try a normal Groovy. And I use time command to measure the performance. Groovy, okay. Okay, it takes uh, 0 0.766 seconds. And more? Yeah, it's same result. Okay. Then Groovy Sub. Groovy Sub provides a Groovy client command, which can be used instead of Groovy command. So I append only client, okay? Run it. 0 0.034 second. It's very fast. It's very fast. Uh, it seems what fake. 
but it's not fake. Uh, I'll change, if I'll change the code, the result is changed too. It actually works. Again, okay, Groovy client is about 10, uh, 20 to 30 times faster than normal Groovy command. In normal Groovy, JVM process is invoked for each execution of Groovy command. On the other hand, in Groovy serve, a Groovy server keeps JVM process running in the background. It's releasing the TCP port by default uh, 1961, 1961 port. And it's receiving the request from Groovy client and then execute it. Now let us think about the case again. This is a Groovy subway. Write code with your favorite IDE or editor and run the code by using Groovy sub as external tool. And you can also see the result on the console of IDE. Okay, let me show you it. Uh, this is a sample script opening an IntelliJ IDEA. And I've already set Groovy client as external tool. And its shortcut key I choose is Control F9. Of course, you can use the key which you want. Okay, I push Control F9. Good. Once again. Good. It's easy and fast. This is IntelliJ IDEA, so you can use full support of the IDE, uh, called completion, syntax checking, and so on. Okay, I'll try it. Uh, file, okay. Uh, temp, hello, take it. And, oh good. And append the text, hello. And print in, okay. Uh, five. No, no, oops, oh. It's wrong, wrong spell. <laughs> yes, this. What, what? Something wrong? Okay. Why, why check? I tried Control F9. Oh, okay, okay, it works. And for each running, a number of hello increasing. Okay. As shown here, the combination of IDE and Groovy sub is very powerful. Okay, you can use Groovy sub as external tool in them. IntelliJ IDEA, uh, Eclipse, Sublime Text 2, even Vim plus Quick Run plugin, and more. Yeah, that's a Groovy sub. Okay, how to install? I, pre I prepared the binaries for Mac OS 10.8 and Windows 7 and XP and Linux, but a binary form is too sensitive for the environment. It's often troublesome. So I recommend to build from source code on your machine if possible. If you use a Mac, the best way is to use Homebrew. It's a very easy way to build Google sub from source code on your own. And Groovy sub doesn't require any settings. You can use it as soon as you prepare the binary set. Of course, if you add the com com command path to path environment variable, you can more easily use it. Okay, and how to use? Uh, Groovy sub provides two commands. Uh, Groovy client is a front end command. It invokes a Groovy file or a one line encoder by sending a request to server. 
It also invokes Groovy server process automatically if not exists. Uh, Groovy, serve, Groovy server can control a server process. You should use it only when you want to specify special options, so it's not usually used. Uh, Groovy server is available for other JVM languages. For example, JSON. JSON is an, an implementation of the Python written in Java. And Clojure. Clojure is a dialect of the Lisp. Uh, I think that you can also apply to other JVM languages. All you can do for this purpose is to specify an entry point of the language. For example, in case of Clojure, the entry point is main method of Clojure main class. Uh, I've talked only about use case and development phase so far. But of course, Groovy Sub can use to run a script at runtime. For example, a script to get scheduled data from Groovy Air as an editor's macro, as a mail filter. It's also very useful at runtime. Okay, today there is no enough time and my vocabulary is not enough, so I introduce them just only keywords. Uh, Groovy Sub provides a feature, access control, Propagation of the class pass, a propagation environment variable, the handling system exist, dynamics, current working directory. Okay, here's a turnaround point. Uh, <laughs> could you understand my English so far? Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, the pace is good. The next topic is the Inprox plugin. Okay, now let's turn our eyes toward the development of Grace application. Uh, Grace test support is very great. Uh, do you always test write tests? I usually write tests for Grace application. Oh, phew, okay. This plugin is just for you. And for, for the other people, uh, you would become wanting to write tests after this session, I hope so. Uh, how to run tests? To run tests in Grails, you can use test app command. Without arguments, the command runs all tests, including unit and integration tests. But why I'm writing a test? I want to run only it, because running all tests takes too much time. So I want to run the test as fast as possible. Okay, to run a specified test as fast as possible, you should do that. The first point is specifying a target test class. This is yellow, yellow text. You can use a simple class name instead of FQ, CN, free qualified class name. But simple class name may cause a conflict if there are classes which have the same name. So you should use FQ, CN if possible. The second point is specifying a test phase. This is a green text. A unit, integration, functional, are uh, called a test phase. They are mapped to the name of directory and the test directory. Uh, it is clear that specifying the target test class name is effective for performance. But why does it need a test phase? The reason is this. Uh, if you run test without specifying a phase and only with test class name, Grace tries to run both unit and integration test phase. Even though the test is unit test and there is no integration test which has same name, an integration phase is run. Waiting the end of integration phase is just wait of time. Too bad. It's very, very slow. In this example, it takes 15 seconds. On the other hand, if you specify a unit test phase explicitly, only the unit test is run. The time is less than a half of the previous slide, seven seconds. Great. Okay, as a summary, we need these two information to run a test as fast as, fast as possible. FQC and free qualified class name of target test class. Test phase of target test class. 
Okay, by the way, uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, how do you run a test while writing it? Okay, by ID support? Okay, thank you. Uh, B, by great test app as a standalone, I mean uh, to run this great, great test app command in terminal for each execution. Oh, okay. C, by great test app via interactive mode. Good. Okay, others. Not, not. <laughs> Good. Okay, about A, ID invokes Grails command with new JVM process for each time. So it's slow. Just like the previous topic of normal Groovy. Uh, about B, it's same as A. It invokes Grails command with new JVM process for each time. About C, interactive mode is a great feature of Grails. I love it. Interactive mode is very useful. It makes command execution faster because the JVM doesn't have to be restarted for each command. The reason to be fast is similar to Groovy stuff. To get into interactive mode, you just run Grace command with no arguments. And tab completion is also available. Great. Okay, just to make sure, let me show you interactive mode. Uh, there is a sample Grails application which has two or uh, four tests, two unit tests and two integration tests. Okay, to get interactive mode, I run Grails command. Okay, interactive mode is ready. Uh, first, I'll try to specify a unit test phase. Unit test is further, uh, faster than integration test because it doesn't need to run the whole Grails mechanism. It tests up unit. One, two, three, four, five. It takes five, about five seconds. And one time, one more time. One, two, it's too fast. It's much faster than the previous time because the required class have already loaded and prepared. And one more. Very fast. Next, let me try to run an integration test. Okay. A startup time of integration phase is much slower than unit test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, about ten seconds. Okay, it's painful for me to wait ten seconds for each for each test app. But from second time, one, two, three, three, three scan. Much faster than the first time. This is the power of interactive mode. But now, the showing interactive mode is a great feature, but there is still some trouble. It needs frequent switching of windows for use while writing code in IDE or editor. And to run a test, you must pre prepare SQCN of target test class and test phase of target test class. Okay, let me show you that trouble. Okay. Mm oh. Okay. This is a sample project which I showed you at the previous demo, the same project. And this is a simple test class named Unit A Tests. I'm writing this test now and I want to run this in interactive mode. First, I'll get in interactive mode. Okay, ready. Uh, but, but reset. Okay, and then type test up, and uh, then I believe that test phase of test class is unit, okay, unit. And I want the fully qualified test class name, 
And actually, I know that this class name is unique in this simple project, so I can use a simple class name instead of XCM. But if there are classes having the same name, you must specify FQCN. So at this time, let's try with FQCN. So first, I'll copy the package name. Okay, package name. Select and copy and switch it. Switch in the window and paste it. Okay, and type dot for next class name. And next class name. Select class name and switch the window. Okay, and paste it. Okay, ready. At last, run it. Good. Okay, I'll try to change the expected value. So, which the window? Switch the window and uh, some edit false. Okay, and switch the window. Okay, okay, and uh, then complete the previous command from history by app castle key. Okay, and run it. It failed unexpectedly. Okay, I'll, I'll undo the change, okay. Let's switch the window and, okay, and switch the window and we run it. Okay. Okay, now I just remember that I must run an integration test because my colleague asked me that. So I select the integration test, this, this test, okay, and Okay, type test app integration and ah, very complicated. Okay. Good. His work seems good. Okay. Phew. Uh, how many times all, uh, did I switch the window and copy paste? Yeah, many, many times. Very tired. So I introduce you in Prox plugin. It's for right away of using interactive mode from other process via TCP IP. Okay, let me show you the same demo as the previous, but this time using in Prox plugin. Okay, I won't, I won't run this test. Okay. First, I run interactive mode. Okay. Now we don't need nothing. Copy and paste the test class name, switch in the window, and typing appropriate test phase, nothing. All you have to do is to run the Improx plugin, Improx client. And I've already set the Improx client as external tool in my IntelliJ. And its shortcut key I choose is a function, function key, F9. Okay, I'll push F9 key. Oh, it failed. Because Improx server hasn't started yet. Okay, let's start the Improx server. Improx start command. Good. Now Improx opened to 8096 port by default and recent it. Okay. Now I'll push F9 key again. Oh, it's integration test, so, so very slow, okay. And test passed. Okay, so the standard, standard output stream and error stream are shown in console review of IntelliJ. And the, an e executed command is shown here. 
from yes and there are two points the test phase is unit good I don't know, integration good and the free qualified test class name is specified perfect and the echo box is displayed on interactive mode console for each execution one more F9 second time is fast and echo back okay and if you, if you your IDE has a feature to rerun the latest command including external tool and you can use the shortcut key for it it makes TDD productive, very productive, because it allows us to run a test without switching editor tab while write, writing a product call. Okay, let me show you that. Yeah, I've already configured my IntelliJ to rerun the latest command by a shortcut key option R. Okay, and Uh, this is a test for calculator class. There is a test method which makes sure two plus three call five. Let's run it by improx f9. Good. Uh, the product call seems to work well. But to tell the truth, it's just a temporary implementation like that, offer implementation. So I'll fix this, okay? First, let's add a new test using different number. Add triangulation of TDD. Okay, I've already written a test. Okay. Five plus seven equals 12. Okay, try to run it. Now, I can use, okay, uh, it failed ex expectedly because the return value is hard coded as five. It's a wrong result. Okay. So I'll fix the product code. The goal is very clear, so I'll di directly write uh, final answer and obvious implementation. A plus B, okay. And now I can use the shortcut key option R to rerun the latest external tool without switching the editor tab. Good. Uh, somehow at the first run, just after editing, the change seems to be ignored. But we run again, it works maybe. Good, good, test passed. Uh, I noticed this problem this morning, so I'll check, check it later. Anyway, all tests passed, now my work has finished. By Improx plugin, we need no longer switch in window and switch in tab, okay? Using Improx plugin, you can run a test faster than general IDE supports because using interactive mode. And you can run the test directly from IDE or editor without complicated operation. Very easy way. You can use Improx client as external tools in them. They are the same as Groovy serve. Oh, Improx means interactive mode proxy. Actually, the architecture is that Improx server opens, the, opens and listens a TCP port which is 8096 by default, and receive the command line from clients via the TCP port, and delegate the command to Grace Script Runner class via interactive mode class, which are the Grace classes used when you normally run a command in interactive mode. 
So like this, it works with just a proxy. In Improx, some commands are unsupported. But if you use Improx only to run a test, I think it's not a problem. Okay. It's just a great, great plugin, so the installation is very easy. Uh, Improx plugin provides some client scripts. You can install them by Improx install resources command. There are some shell scripts, so you must add an execute, execute permission to them. You can use them in command for different projects, so I recommend installing them to global paths. For example, uh, dot improx resources under your home directory. Once you store them to global path, you don't need the preparation for other projects. The pro plugin adds three commands to your application. These are commands to start up a server and to stop it. Very simple. While improx is running, you can run exit command to exit interactive mode without improx stop, stop command, no problem. Or you may use control C. So actually, I rarely use the improx stop command. This command is uh, to install client scripts. You saw it in the previous slide. They are a client script to send a command to a server via TCP port. Shell script is better because it's, it's, it's simple and faster. But if your platform doesn't support shell script, you can use a Groovy script. When using the Groovy script, I strongly recommend to use Groovy server to run it. I think you already know the reason, okay? In Prox client, uh, re requires a command line as an argument. It runs the uh, command in interactive mode via TCP port of Improx server. It's very simple, like this. And Improx smart invoker requires file path, which extension is Groovy. This invokes any Groovy file in appropriate way. It's very handy for IE or editor. How smart is it? Improx Smart Invoker works the following. First, if you specify a Groovy file and a test unit directory as an argument, Improx Smart Invoker runs this great command as follows. Specify the test phase from test directory and resolve the FQCN from the file path. Similarly, if you specify a Groovy file and the test integration directory as an argument, Improx Smart Invoke around this Grace command. So you don't need to specify a test phase and the FQCM taking the trouble. Next, in case of file and the test functional directory, Improx Smart Invoke around this Grace command as new standard on Grace process. It's because functional test doesn't work well on interactive mode at present. In other cases, Improx Smart Invoker tries to run it as a normal Groovy, normal Groovy script. In addition, if you install the Groovy server, Groovy stuff, the Groovy client command is automatically used instead of the normal Groovy command. So to make the best use of Improx plugin, all you have to do is to set Improximate Invoker script as external tool of your IDE or editor. Well, I wanted to say just so, but there is a one pitfall. Uh, note that to run functional tests and Groovy script, Improximate Invoker requires their command path. So if you want to use them, you have to make your IDE or editor be able to use the appropriate path environment variable. Unfortunately, in case of IntelliJ IDEA, you cannot use the arbitrary environment variable with external tool at present. So then you must edit your Improx Smart Invoker script and replace directory with an absolute path of the command. 
Okay, let me show you a plot kernel of Mprox. It's very simple. On TCP IP, you can send just only command line text. Then Mprox run it on server and send back the result of the command. So you can use any existing command which can talk TCP at Mprox client. So you can use telnet, mc command, and so on. Okay, telnet local host eight zero nine six. Okay, help. Good. And test up. Very good. Nc command. Okay, nc command local. Test up unit. Very good. And in addition, you can use HTTP protocol. So you can use any existed command which can talk HTTP. So you can use the web browser, wget command, call, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so wget. Local host help. Then the result is help in the help file. And browser. Local, okay, local host. Help like this. Oh, it's too time. For more information, check the URLs. Okay, oh, there's too much time remaining. <laughs> A pace control to talk in foreign language is very difficult for me. So I have no confidence whether I can understand your question and answer it a little. Uh, any questions? <laughs> Come on. No? Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Great. So we have a break until uh, 12.